Hi guys, it's your girl Napisha09 and I am coming to you guys because I have been battling dry hair this whole winter and so um, I'm about to um, change up my routine a little bit. I'm gonna probably, I'm, I'm gonna go back to my old routine for a little while just because um, Texas winter and it just, it just doesn't like my hair. And so right now, my hair is saturated in um, grapeseed oil. And the purpose of me um, putting the grapeseed oil in my hair before I wash it is so that um, when I wash it, it won't strip it as much. Not saying that what I use strips my hair, but I want to retain as much moisture as possible right now because my scalp hates me and I, my locks are not happy. So, um... I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try my best to make them happy today. And so the grapeseed oil has actually been in my hair for a couple um, of hours. After I wash my hair, I, I've decided that I'm gonna do a deep condition. And so let's see products that I'm gonna be using today. Okay. Um, number one, I already told you I've saturated my hair with grapeseed oil. And then I will be washing with Earthalisms. Um, Tipu Bar and Flower Power. That's the one I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using conditioner for the first time since this summer. Since like June or July. Somewhere up in there. I'm going to be using the one that I have and you know, I'm going to put a little heat on it. And so then I'm going to follow that with my, um, my leave-in conditioner that I mix. Um, it, it worked for me and so I'm going to revisit it and I use the Cantu Shea Butter, some um, aloe vera juice, a little bit of glycerin, and water. That's it. That's all I put in that. And um, I'm going to be using my coconut oil from Earth Blizzards. And it has really good stuff in it. Um, it has coconut oil, castor, grapeseed, sweet almond. Olive squalene, is that how you say that? Metaphone seed, sweet almond, faraha, vitamin, and vitamin E oil. And I love this. Um, it's almost gone, as you can see, because I use it on my body more than anything. And so I'm going to see how this, um, if, if this is going to help, you know, with me retaining some of the moisture. Because right now, my hair is angry. And so, um... After I get all this done, I'm also going to be putting some curls in my hair today using the lock knots. Now, the lock knot technique that I use is not the one that, um, you know, Jessica made popular where you bend it and you wrap the hair, blah, 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 blah. That's not the one that I use. Um, I actually use the one that... Um, I don't know if Napsfaya created it, but she was the first person that I saw do it. But um, Miss Potential was um, the person who made me fall in love with them. And so I will show you guys how I um, do my lock knots. And um, yeah, so let me show you guys my hair. I know I haven't gotten a good back shot of my hair in a little while. Because it's either curled or wet, but this is my hair. This is the top. I am, let's see, I turned two years in October, so I am two years, four months, I think, I say November, December, January. Two years, three months. I'm almost. I'm going into my um, fourth month of my second year. So this is what my hair looks like, and it has been growing, really, really growing. I am enjoying not twisting. I have not twisted my hair since June. Um, you know, let me wash it, and then I just finished um, washing and oiling and conditioning and all that good stuff. Look at my roots real fast. You know, I'm always wanting to look in somebody's roots and so I'm going to show you mine. Uh, so, as you see, I don't know if I'm 
these two keep trying to combine and I don't want them to so I'm going to gently separate those two and now these two I do want to combine and so I'm going to leave them on and that's how I pretty much gauge my hair the ones that I really want to combine if they start combining I leave them alone like these I'm not going to separate that um, this one looks like it wants to combine with that one Mm -hmm. I don't know, I really wanted to combine this one, but that's not the direction it wants to take, so I'm going to leave that alone for a little while to see what it does. Um, this one is doing what I wanted to do, even though I didn't make it. Uh, these two look like they're going to, I don't know, because that one looks like it wants to go with that one too. Um... So it look like they're gonna go ahead and join together. We'll see. Um, I'll just show you guys today. I don't know what the bag is doing. So anyway, I'm going to let my hair dry some, um, and then I will come back and show you guys how I do my lock nuts. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and it's been a few hours, so my hair is almost dry. It's not completely dry. It's, it's slightly damp, and so this is the time that I want to put my nuts in. I don't like to do curls or braid outs or anything like that on really wet hair because the hair retains more water and it takes longer to dry but i found that if you do your curls and stuff on dry hair or partially dry hair it doesn't take as long to dry and your curls come out really good and they last longer because they they have a chance to go ahead and completely dry okay so now me like i said i don't do the the popular lock knots that's going around youtube I do the more simple kind that is, um, like I said, where did I get it from? Naps Failure and Miss Potential. Now, since I want my curls to be looser, I use more locks. Some people use one and it's okay to use one lock, but I like a looser curl and so I usually do three to four locks or if they're joined, I do two. And so I take this, usually my hair is um, dry and I'll spray it. And then I'll take it, you know, rub the water on it. And I like to keep my knot close to the end because my hair is um, a little bit longer. I'm actually really pleased with my growth. But anyway, that's not the subject. And you just take it, bend it, and curl it. Let me get closer. Take it, bend it, curl it around, make you a knot. Pull it through. I grab my hair here so I won't pull my roots and yeah just a simple knot it's really easy just take it and make a knot is and so that's it and so I'm gonna do my whole head. I take them down I will make sure to show you guys the takedown and results and I also have a bonus something that I want to show you guys at the end. I just got something incredible made for me. And I know you guys are going to love it. And I know you guys are going to want one. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So I am back with my takedown. It's been a few hours. Um, my hair is dry. So let's get these taken out. And so I really, really, really like these. Mm. I might need to leave them in a little bit longer, but um, the good thing about these is they're really quick and easy, so I don't stress if they don't curl all the way. Or like if I don't let them dry completely because I don't know if I did. Uh, my hair was a little bit wetter 
than I thought it was. And which is why I usually don't do them until my hair is completely dry. Because my hair keeps, it holds water like a bucket. So, yeah. So. And that's it. They're really easy to put up and they're, <clears throat> and they're really quick to take down. So most of the time, this is how I curl my hair unless I just want the spiral. And I, I absolutely love this technique. And so, yeah. That is it with the curls. So, um, some of the ones that didn't get as curly, I will probably put them back up for a little while. But um, like I said, I really need to give my hair a chance to completely dry. And which is why I prefer to do them on the dry. Just do them on, do them on dry hair. And your hair will um, dry faster and you will get a better result. My hair is not completely dry and so my results aren't as good as I would like for them to be. But I like it. Okay, so anyway, what I want to show you is this. This is my hat. Um, I actually got it. I got the idea from what is it? Naughty Dread TV. Um, one of their new people, I don't know her name, I'll put the link down, but she did a video on how to make this hat. Now, so if you crochet, I will most definitely post the link. But me, I do not crochet, I don't sew, don't do anything. And so I had someone make it for me. Um, I had Orlandria make it. She is the owner of the Insomniac Beanie. I will put her link down below. And she did an exquisite job on my hat. Um, the price, uh, I think her prices are about $20. She makes beanies and she makes beanies and hats and scarves. And I think her price is about $20. Um, Check me out. Her needlework is exquisite. Look, look how neat her stitches are. And this is a really, I love this hat, it's awesome. And the yarn that she used, she used the yarn that is not, it doesn't shed into my locks. And she has locks herself, and so she's gonna do you good. She's not gonna give you something that's gonna give you all kinds of, of lint buildup. She has locks. Her daughter has these beautiful freeform locks, and y'all, I'm gonna put her link because I know y'all are gonna want this hat. I know you are. I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> why wouldn't you want this? This is like gorgeous. So I will put the link below to her website it's called the insomniac and y'all go ahead and hit her up give her some business and you get to choose your colors and you know if you want an accent yeah so that's it y'all this video is super long and i've started rambling so i will tell you guys goodbye until next time peace